hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be learning how i made this dress and i actually saw a picture of a similar thing on pinterest so that was like my inspiration so with this ruched or dripping at the front like i've been trying to you know crack the code on how it's actually done and i recently got to know how it's done so i made patterns of it and then i said well I'm going to a wedding this weekend, so why not wear this? And I made this and I wore it to a wedding. I just added a little bit of my touch to it. I didn't do the exact same thing as I said, this is the inspiration. So let's go. I started with the pattern making for the skirt and I folded the brown paper into two so that after putting in the measurements i will get the full front piece of the skirt to be able to adapt the style so i started with the measurements shoulder to a uh, sorry waist to hip which is 10 inches and waist to knee which is 21 inches and skirt length is 33 inches so after i put in the dots for the measurements i drew a straight line across then i started with the waist measurements which is 28 so divided by 4 is 7 inches and the hip measurement is 40 and 40 divided by 4 is 10 then i used my curve to join the lines and i proceeded to cut out the pattern piece here i have already cut out the back piece for the dress and i added 1.5 inches for zipper allowance one inch for side seam allowance and one inch for hem with the first passing pieces i measured from the waist down five inches and that's where i started with the designing of the dripping or ruched i don't really know the name for that if anyone knows please let me know in the comment section then i started with a freehand sketch of how i want both of the front pieces to be so this is the first piece and the second piece and as i said earlier i made two passing pieces of this so i'll trace one onto the other pattern and cut the other one on the other pattern piece so this is how it looks after i cut both pieces out and as you can see i've laid it down how it's going to be after it's sewn so let's move on to the ruched effect on the first piece. I then move on to draw the lines that I'll be slashing through to create the ruched effect and I drew four lines. And what I've noticed with this is it doesn't have any specific measurements that will be used. So you just do it however you want. Yeah. So here I have already slashed through the lines and placed it on the fabric that I'll be using which is a 13 and I'm arranging it so I can pin it down and then cut it out and I added one inch allowance for the sides and the hems also.
And for the corset, I'm using this bustier pattern that I made in a previous video. So if you want to know how I did it, all you have to do is go and watch that video. So here I'm tracing the pattern out to adapt the style that I want for the dress. And at the top of the bustier, you could see I drew a straight line and I measured one three quarter in order to make the armholes. I also measured upwards from the armhole one inch to create an arc for the side because that's how I want it to be. Then I moved on to the middle pattern piece of the corset and I drew a straight line. To get a straight edge and then i placed the corsets on it and traced the pattern to the brown paper and i adjusted the style i want and the next thing i did was place the side pattern piece on this middle piece to get this accurate curve at the top and i also measured 1.5 inches at the bottom to create a curve sorry a straight shape at the bottom because i didn't want it to be a v shaped and then i moved on to cut the pattern out and move on to the back pattern so here i have already cut out the fabrics and with the back pattern i used the pattern i made in the previous corset video at this point i've already sewn the front pieces and the back pieces together separately and what i'll be doing next is sewing the boning channels and putting the bones i sewed the hem of the skirts because i didn't use any lining so now what we'll be doing next is put the corset top on it to shape the waist line so that's what you see me doing here and as you can see as i marked the shape of it i didn't cut on the markings that i made i moved up half inch to cut the skirt yeah and i joined the back pieces together as you can see and i also fixed in an invisible zipper so this is how it looks on the inside 
So what I'll be doing next is join the front piece to this on the sides and also fixing my eyelid holes. And I also added a modesty panel. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And this is how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. I'll see you in the next video.